Today I'm going to show you how to make kapun, which is a red curry and coconut soup served with vermicelli noodles and a cabbage type of slaw. This curry can be made mild or spicy and it's commonly made with this red curry paste but today I'm going to make my own version of it by adding this sweet Thai noodle sauce to it. The ingredients that are in here are coconut milk, sugar, shallots, soybean oil, garlic, mung bean, dried shrimp, tamarind juice, lime juice, salt, and dried red chilies. Now, I picked this up from a girlfriend that visited a few years ago from Laos, and she made this for us, and we were all like, wow, this is so good. And she told us that the secret to it was by adding a little bit of this sauce to it, and I just thought that this made the soup really hearty and gave it a nice sweet flavor. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find this in a lot of Asian markets, so when I do find it, I stock up on it just to save to make for this soup. This is a really popular dish among Laotians, and I think you're going to be really surprised to see how easy it is to make. So let's begin. So I've set the chicken on my cutting board to cool and we're going to go ahead and shred the meat from the bone and you just want to use a fork to kind of take this apart. Um, you can remove the skin and discard it or you can keep the skin on. I like the chicken skin in my soup so I'm just going to keep it on. And this doesn't need to look pretty or anything because we are going to be shredding it up and I'm going to be pounding some down um, to put into the soup as well. Then once the meat is all off, you can just go ahead and get rid of the bones and then start shredding your chicken. And I'm just going to use my fingers. You can use a knife to do this or the fork whatever is easiest for you. I find that it's easier to just handle it with my fingers. We want to get this as finely shredded as possible. So I'm just gonna go back in and just keep pulling all of this apart. And then I do have some of the skin already set aside. So I'm gonna cut that into really thin strips. So I have half of my chicken finely shredded and I'm going to put the other half in the mortar and pestle and just pound it down. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is because it gives the soup a really nice texture and you don't have to, the soup isn't supposed to be overpowered by the chicken, it's supposed to just have little flecks of chicken pieces in it. So this is how we're going to achieve that. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just going to quickly cut this into thin strips. And this is the chicken skin. And then I'm going to add all of this back into my bowl. And then we're going to bring it over to the pot. And then the pounded chicken is just going to look like this. So we're going to start by heating a little bit of oil in a large pot. And I'm just going to use about a tablespoon of oil. Go ahead and swirl that around. Add the garlic and shallots. And we're just going to fry this until it's golden brown. And you don't want this to burn, so keep moving it around in the oil. Now that this has turned 
golden brown. I'm going to go ahead and start adding the curry. And just be careful when adding this because it does splash back up once it hits the oil. I'm going to start with half of the can of the red curry paste. And then half of the sweet Thai noodle sauce. Go ahead and fry that around. And you can turn the heat down a little bit more too if it's splashing too much. Go ahead and add um, a little bit of the coconut cream. I'm going to add about one fourth of the can to this. Now we're going to add the chicken to season it with the curry. Just get that mixed in really well to coat all of the chicken with that coconut curry paste and garlic and shallots. Now we're going to add a couple slices of galangal and then a few kefir lime leaves. And we're gonna add the remaining of our coconut milk. And now we're going to add the chicken stock that we cooked the chicken in. And go ahead and pour the entire thing in here. I would guess that there's about six to eight cups of chicken stock in here. Add the bamboo shoots. Just gently add that in so it doesn't splash back at you. Season it with a little bit of salt. I would start with about a half tablespoon of salt and fish sauce. Start with about a half ladle full first. Now you'll just want to let this come to a boil and then it's ready to be served. And I'll show you how to plate that up once this is finished. The soup is all ready to be served, so I'm going to add a couple bundles of noodles to my bowl. And then I'm just going to take some of the top, add it in here. Add as many vegetables as you want. I like a lot of it, so I just put a handful in. And add some lime. And I like it spicy, so I'm going to be adding a little bit more hot chili oil to this. And then I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but sriracha is so good in this. Sriracha is good in everything, and I like it in this in particular. And then I also like it a little bit more saltier, so I'm just going to add a little bit more fish sauce. And you can eat this with a side of shrimp paste if you'd like. And I learned a little trick with the shrimp paste. So I'm just going to spoon a little bit onto the edge of my bowl so that you don't have to grab a side bowl to do this. And then I just go ahead and add a couple Thai chilies to that. And then I eat it alongside the soup. And that's it.